What's up everyone? Brett here from Brett Ryan Photo. Uh, just getting ready to do a quick uh, day trip to Zion National Park. I'm gonna be heading through the Narrows today and just thought I'd uh, start the video now so you can kind of see what uh, equipment I'm gonna be taking and photography equipment especially. So tripod is a must um, in the Narrows if you're gonna be taking pictures of moving water and um, this tripod might be a little bit overkill, it's pretty big, but I like the sturdiness of this for, uh, you know, the moving water and the, the moving rocks at the bottom of the river. So I do like to take a bigger tripod anyway, I don't mind carrying it, so a um, bit of a workout as well. <laughs> All this equipment I have in here, I'll take the one camera, won't be needing this one. Um, for lenses, you don't really need many lenses for shooting the narrows. Uh, basically my go-to lens for shooting the narrows is a wide angle lens because you're in a slot canyon. So you don't really need a zoom lens unless you're shooting, unless you want to get some shots of some birds or, um, sometimes some mule deer come through the narrow so it's kind of cool to have a lens if you want to get shots of that but today I'm going to focus just on taking pictures of <clears throat> uh, the scenery within the narrow so I'd like a wide angle lens so I'll take my 16 by 35 16 to 35 lens and the one camera is all I'm going to take water is a must ice and water it's the middle of summer right now so it's going to be pretty hot and it's going to be busy so I'm heading out later in the day and someone told me to always take snacks because I always go hiking and I never take snacks and I'm usually uh, pretty <laughs> hungry by the end of it so I'm going to take some snacks and that's about it honestly make sure you got the right equipment um, tripod like I said um, a wide angle lens, my 16 to 35, and just the camera, that's it. Plenty of uh, memory cards and spare batteries. Well, I'm here. It's uh, really hot. It's uh, 96 degrees and it's super busy. Um, it's dead in the middle of summer and yeah, I've had to park a lot further away than I usually would to go to the Narrows, but luckily I have my electric bike and uh, as I was saying before, these shoes are great. Uh, most places around Zion will rent these out to the people doing the Narrows. Um, but of course, I own these because I do a lot of the Narrows and a lot of uh, water hiking. Um, yeah, here's my electric bike. Folds up nice and easy from uh, electric. And uh, get it out and start um, getting ready. All right, bike set up. Got all my gear ready, and it's uh, time to cycle up to the Narrows. See you there. Zion National Park is so beautiful, it's just uh, it really feels good just being out here. Like even if you're not here to take pictures or anything like that, it's uh, it's great just to be in the outdoors and, and going for a leisurely ride, bike ride like this, or just going for a walk. It's, um, it's spectacular. Keeping that speed up. Okay, after that short ride, uh, I'm here at the start of the Riverside Walk um, that leads you to the Narrows. I've never seen so many bikes here. It is packed, um, but I'd ride my bike up here a million times over taking the shuttle, which most people do, um, because I just don't like being so crowded around so many people. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is extremely busy today and hot, so I don't think I'm gonna be getting any shots uh, for about four or five hours when people have to start getting the shuttle back but that's okay because I have about a 
two and a half hour hike ahead of me. So by the time I get there and the time I start moving, coming back, I should, uh, most of the crowd should have uh, departed the location by then. So there's still hope, but it's good to be out here anyway. Okay, I'm at the uh, end of the Riverside Walk and the start of the Narrows in when you have to enter the water. There's no other way around it and it is packed. It's super crowded. That little uh, trek that I did just to get here was about 20 minutes, 25 minutes maybe, but because it's so hot, it's like 95 degrees, it's, uh, you gotta keep your fluids up or you'll definitely be um, dehydrated. So I just stopped for a little bit of a drink before I enter the water and um, fight the crowds for another two and a half hours until they've all got to start heading back. Wish me luck. And this is what you get when you come to the Narrows in the middle of summer. It's absolutely packed, but thankfully people are going to be uh, heading back to the buses in a few hours and then I'll be up in the best spot of the Narrows and I can take my time getting shots, but yeah, it is packed. This is absolutely insane, but the good news is, is the further you go up the river, the crowds get much less. This is the start, so it's kind of a deep part up here, but turns a lot of people back, but it's so hot today, people will probably be going through it. And now I'm approaching the deeper part, but turns a lot of people away. The funny thing is, this is probably the deepest part of the Narrows, but it's not very far up. Not as deep as I thought today, so that's good. And it's only getting shallower as the season goes on and the year goes on. Still pretty cool, <laughs> but as you can see, I've got my backpack out because you know I don't want all my camera equipment getting uh, wet. So yeah, <laughs> and I'm already out. <laughs> so this is the first uh, good photo opportunity spot, but as you can see. There is far too many people here right now. So, maybe I'll get some shots on the way back. <laughs> because, yeah, far too many people here right now. So I'll have a look on the way back. And I'll keep heading up river. So this is the first spot that I've actually pulled out my camera. It's, uh, quite nice. I've got the sun bouncing off the cliff over to my left here and um, the sun bouncing off that cliff is lighting up this wall over here to my right which makes for a really nice background especially with the water running right here. Um, I'll let you take a look for yourself now. All right, my second location I've come to. I wasn't planning on shooting this location today, but the light just looks too nice to me right now. So I am gonna take a couple. I'm not gonna spend too long here because I still wanna get to Wall Street and further up. So um, I'm just gonna take a couple shots, see how they turn out and then um, get moving. But this is what I'm looking at right now. Kinda hard to see from the glare on my camera, but that's what I'm looking at. Well, I didn't hike as far as I thought I would today, but I made it to Wall Street and I really liked some of the pictures on the way through, on the way up here today. So I think I'm gonna head back and try and get some more shots um, with the sunset and the light going down. 
um, back to where I came. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for today. And um, since I live here, I don't have to stress it. I can come back another day. Maybe when uh, the water gets a little bit lower and the crowds dissipate a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'll see how it goes on the way back.